I'm going to take your 15 millimeter rail system. In this case, we're using the camera turret 15 millimeter rail. And we're mounting it to a tripod, so we're going to take the quick release plate from the tripod and mount it to the bottom of the 15 millimeter rail, and then lock that back down onto the tripod. Then you're going to take the quick release plate that comes with the 15 millimeter camera turret rail or your rail system, and you're going to mount that into the bottom of your camera. Slide it back in, lock it into position. Now you're ready to put the lens rings on. The lens rings are really just very large zip ties. So they lock around the lens, but these zip ties actually can be undone and removed and done again. So you can put it on all different lenses. If you're going to use it just on one camera, you can actually cut the ends of the zip ties off. If you're going to use it on multiple cameras, then you may want to leave them extended so they're easy to grab and pull tight. So you lock them in place by pulling them in tight, and you can still, even though they won't slide around the lens, you can still slide them forward or backwards just a little bit on the lens in case you need to. Here we're going to take the focus zoom motor assembly. You're going to slide it on until the gears on the motors align with the gears on the lens ring. Each motor is spring-loaded, so you want to load the springs as you mount it in place and then lock the handle securely. Next, you're going to want to plug in the connectors at the end of the 20-foot cable to your servos. They're flat three-pin connectors that can go in two ways. You want to make sure that you align the red and the black. Now, these two connectors are controlled by two different methods at the controller when you plug them in. One is the slider connector, and one is a rotary pot. So if you want the slider to run the focus, you should mark that for focus, and then mark the focus pigtail. Now, plug in the 8-pin connector on the other end of the 20-foot cable into your connector at the end of your handle. Secure the locking ring. The only thing left to do now is add power. 12 volt power supply comes included with the kit. So plug that in and turn the on off switch on. You should see a green light. As you can see, the camera turret DSLR focus zoom control is extremely easy to set up and use, and I hope this video helped you.